Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today, we are going to discuss how to transform a statement into an equivalent if-then statement. Okay, so let's define what is an hypothesis. So it states that the given facts that are assumed to be true. Pag sinabi naman nating conclusion, what needs to be proven or established? Implication is a statement formed by the hypothesis and the conclusion. If P, then Q, or P implies Q. Rewrite the following statement in F then statement, then identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. Let's have our first example. An honest student is loved by his teacher. Ang una natin gagawin para matransform siya into an F then statement is we need to identify the linking verb. So a linking verb links the subject to a subject complement that identifies or describe the subject. So for this statement, ano ang ating linking verb? This one is, ito ang ating linking verb. So therefore, ano kaya ang magiging implication natin? So, lagi nating tatandaan, una-muna nating i-identify ang ating linking verb. So, linking verb, it separate the statement sa dalawang parts. That would be the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, ang magiging implication natin, if a student is honest, then he is loved by his teachers. Ang ating magiging hypothesis, a student is honest, at ang ating conclusion, he is loved by his teachers. Okay? So, yung statement that start with if, that would be our hypothesis. And the statement that start with then, ayun ang magiging conclusion natin. Let's have another example. A quadrilateral has four sides. How do we transform this one into a F-then statement? Let's identify kung ano ang ating linking verb. So, ang ating linking verb dito ay has. It separate the statement into two parts. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging implication natin ay if it's a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. Ang ating magiging hypothesis, it's a quadrilateral. Ang ating conclusion, it has four sides. Another example. All left-handed people are male. Ano yung unang step? We identify the linking verb. Ang ating linking verb dito ay are. Okay? So, therefore, ang maging implication natin, if a person is a left-handed, then he is a male. So, ang hypothesis natin, a person is a left-handed, ang magiging conclusion natin, he is a male. Okay. So, here's another example. A right angle measures 90 degrees. Sabi ko kanina, in changing or transforming a statement to an f then statement, ang una muna natin gagawin is we need to find the linking verb. So, what if it has no linking verb? Okay, for this one, walang linking verb. A right angle measures 90 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin is we need to separate this statement into two parts. So, ang ating first part is a right angle. The second one measures 90 degrees. Okay? So, dahil walang linking verb, we separate the statement sa dalawang part. The first part is a right angle, and the second part of the statement measures 90 degrees. Okay? So, ang magiging implication natin, if it's a right angle, then it measures 90 degrees. Ang ating hypothesis, it's a right angle, at ang ating conclusion, it measures 90 degrees. Okay? Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math videos. Don't forget to like, share, and comment if you have any questions. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.